There is a very high likelihood that you've never read the Terms of Service for World of Tanks Blitz. Why? I mean, nobody ever reads the Terms of Service to anything because it's long and boring legalese, but some of the things in there are still quite interesting and are things that you should definitely know so that you will never actually have to read the World of Tanks Blitz Terms of Service. I have read them for you and there are a couple of things in there that might surprise you and some things that are pretty scary if you think about it. Now the first one of the in-game rules, specifically the in-game prohibitions, is that using profanity is not allowed within the game World of Tanks Blitz. Which is quite ironic because if this rule was properly enforced, I do believe that 20 to 40% of the entire player base would have to be removed or severely punished. So, uh, I guess that's why the chat's gone. You can't be profanity spewing if there's no chat at all. It makes it a lot easier. And then, obviously, the rest of the in-game rules are basically don't be a dick. Don't sell accounts. Don't post false information about the game. Well, I know a guy that if that rule be applied, he would be out of a job as Now, obviously, I do hope that you always follow the game rules, but if you don't, then, well, shame on you. And actually, in a funny story, a very many years ago, Wargaming violated the, their own game rules temporarily. Because in rule 1.17 here, it states that it is not allowed to use Nazi symbols in the game, which is a very fair rule. However, this little bit right here, it has a camouflage on it, this legendary camouflage. And that spot, you see right there in the middle of the tank, that used to have this symbol on it. Now, if you ask yourself, hey, it's just two hand grenades, what's wrong with that symbol? Well, uh, that. So basically, for a very brief moment, I think it was about a week or so, Wargaming kind of didn't care about their own rules. Now, obviously that has been rectified and now has been resolved. And I think since then, Wargaming has very well abided by their own rules and rightfully so. And now we get into the end user license agreement, specifically the one that will apply from the 2nd April 2024 onward. There is a new one, that's also kind of why this video exists. So basically, there is going to be a new sort of rule set for the entire Wargaming ecosystem. Now let's have a look of what kind of stuff is in there and why you really should know. Let's get right down to the meat with section 9.4, probably the most important section in the entire agreement because this thing essentially absolves you from any claim or ownership to your account at anything that you spend. Specifically, you acknowledge and agree that you shall have no ownership or other property interest in your account, that all rights in and to your account are and shall forever be owned by and endure to the benefit of Wargaming. That basically says that no matter what happens, Wargaming will always own your account and you don't have any rights. If Wargaming takes away your account, you can't sue them. You can in fact do nothing. And that even extends to things that you spend money on. You further acknowledge and agree that you have no claim, right, title, ownership or other proprietary interest in the paid items that you unlock or accumulate, regardless of any consideration offered or paid in exchange for such paid items. So, any cent you spent within World of Tanks Blitz and other wargaming games, and in fact, pretty much the entirety of the gaming world, you don't own anything. The second your money leaves your pocket and tr gets transferred to wargaming, the value immediately drops to zero. Which is why, for example, in my reviews, I never actually give any values to things such as camouflages and avatars that don't actually influence the battle whatsoever. Whereas a, a premium tank, you can have fun with it, that's good, because here's the thing, you spend money to have fun. So if you're having fun with that, that's all perfectly fine. But remember, as it further states, Wargaming shall not be liable in any manner for the destruction, deletion, modification, impairment, hacking, or any other damage or loss of any kind caused to the game content or paid items, including the deletion of game content or paid items upon the termination or expiration of your account. So you have absolutely no right to anything here. Remember that. That is a very important thing. You are absolutely at Wargaming's mercy and with whatever they do to your account and also the money that you spend. Which is why, be careful with your money. Because you're never gonna see a single cent of that ever again. 
So keep that in mind the next time you want to spend 300 euros on an anime background. Because in fact, the second you obtain it, it is already worthless. Which does make it, and I can't believe I'm saying this, worth less than NFTs. Because if you find someone dumb enough to buy an NFT from you, you might actually get some of your money back. But in this case, you get absolutely nothing because it has no value and you're also not allowed to sell your account. Isn't that just lovely? But let's continue on a positive note, and that is the user-generated content, which basically states that you can use World of Tanks Blitz for essentially anything that's legal, because, I mean, it is very much in the interest of a game company to have their game shared as widely as possible. So if you want to do meme videos or, I don't know, this, you can do it as much as you please. But at the same time, I would recommend against, for example, publishing information that is classified by Wargaming, and ideally also not tell your audience to break the game rules, which is also illegal, and ideally just don't break the game rules at all. I mean, they're there. But if you just want to play the game regularly without becoming a YouTuber, and you're now wondering, well, what the hell do I even have then if I don't actually have the rights to anything? What you have is a license to use the product for the duration that the product is alive. And that is the same for, for example, CSGO skins as well. You don't own the actual item. You simply own a license to be able to use it. And that license can be revoked at any time for all of the reasons that are stated in the EULA. But Wargaming will obviously try their best to, to provide the game to you at any time, if that is legal. So for example, in a couple of countries, you can't buy crates because they are rightfully so classified as gambling and therefore not available to anything that allows anyone under the age of 18 to enter, which is very much the case in World of Tanks Blitz and very much so, because if you're under the age of 18 right now, and you don't have your parents' permission to play the World of Tanks Blitz, well, you're playing the game illegally. Ooh, scary. And if you're under the age of 13, you're not actually allowed to play the game at all, really. So, it would make the matchmaker better if that was enforced. But really, most of the time, you will be fine, because... I'm breaking this rule all the time. I mean, look at that raw sexual energy. It's just undeniable, really. So with that said, does it make sense to read the terms of service? Yes, it very much does. Will you get banned from the game unless you do something really terrible? No, you won't be. You'll be fine.